Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So I am in my BMW 130i today with the N52 engine. Today's video is going to be about the 10 parts that will fail on your BMW N52 engine after 100,000 miles. Let's get into it. Okay then, so here we have the N52 engine and the parts that I'm going to name will be in no particular order, but they are parts nonetheless that should be replaced if your car has reached 100,000 miles. So then let's get started with the first part, which is the water pump. On these N52 engines, they have an electric water pump which is located right down there at the bottom. Now these water pumps will more than likely fail before 100,000 miles. So if your car has reached 100,000 miles and it has no history of the water pump being replaced, go ahead and replace it. When you are replacing it, it is very, very important to fill the new water pump up with fresh coolant. If you try to run it, run your engine without coolant in the water pump, you run the risk of burning your water pump out. Now I'm going to move on to the next part that is common to fail when your engine has reached 100,000 miles and that is the thermostat and it is actually down in the same area because the thermostat is bolted on to the water pump. So when it comes to replacing either one of these, the thermostat or the water pump, it makes sense to replace the other one as well. And that is because access is not great. On this particular model, the 130i, the best method of replacing the water pump is actually to remove the front bumper. It is not bout driven. You cannot access it on the drive bout. It's actually pretty much underneath the engine bay and access really isn't great. That's why it makes sense to replace the thermostat if you are replacing the water pump and it makes sense to replace the water pump if you are replacing the thermostat. Nonetheless though, if your car has reached 100,000 miles and either one of these has not been replaced, you should go ahead and replace them. If of course your water pump fails when you're traveling at high speed, there is a chance that your engine can overheat, which will cause a whole host of other issues. The third part that I'm going to mention then that will fail after you have reached 100,000 miles or more is the oil filter housing gasket. Now, I don't mean the gasket where the cap meets the oil filter housing because you swap that out every time you replace the oil filter. I'm talking about the gasket between the oil filter housing and the engine block itself. That likes to fail and it likes to leak oil down the side of the engine between the oil filter housing and the intake manifold and also down at the front of the engine as well from the oil filter sorry from the oil cooler itself as well so it if you are replacing one or the other replace them both at the same time replace the oil filter housing gasket and the oil cooler gasket as well now when it comes to replacement gaskets do not replace these with some cheap chinese gaskets replace them with some oem so get them straight from the dealership or for some oem equivalent like some l-ring gaskets they're not very expensive but you cannot replace them with some cheap chinese ones they will only fail a short time after replacing them the next part that will fail the next part that is likely to fail after 100,000 miles or so is the Vanos solenoids themselves. There is two located down at the front of the engine, one for the intake side, one for the exhaust side. If these fail, then it is likely that your timing will not advance. You will not be able to get that power in the higher RPMs. And the main cause for these solenoids to fail is the lack of oil changes so if you leave your oil changes you know far beyond what bmw recommend these solenoids themselves will get blocked up far beyond what you can clean 
out of them and they will pretty much be destroyed. So you will need to replace them with some genuine BMW solenoids. Again, you cannot replace these with some cheap Chinese ones because they will fail again and cause you a whole load of other problems. The next part to fail then on this N52 engine after 100,000 miles or so is the disavalves. And because this is the 30i version, there is two disavalves. There is one just there, another one down there. When these fail, because they're only plastic, the flap fails and it goes through the intake manifold and can end up destroying your intake valves which is not a good time because you'll possibly need an engine rebuild then so you can often tell if they are going to fail they will start rattling and when it comes to replacement again you only want oem or oem equivalent you do not want the cheap chinese ones it's kind of the theme for this entire engine you cannot replace it with some cheap chinese equivalent these can be quite costly, but again, you do not want them to fail while your engine is running because it can be catastrophic. Now, another way you can tell if these disavalves are failing is if you experience a loss in low down torque, the valves themselves may be stuck open. As you guys know, the N52 is very, very torquey, low down in the RPMs, and these valves are responsible for that. Now, the next part that is prone to fail once you have gone over 100,000 miles is the starter motor. And on this engine, it's not that easy to remove. Well, it's kind of easy once you know how to get to it, but you kind of have to remove a whole bunch of things to get to it. So you have to remove the airbox, then you have to remove the elbow that goes to the throttle body, and then you need to remove the intake manifold itself. And the starter motor is just located underneath the intake manifold. Once you have access to the starter motor, it's relatively easy. But like I said, it's kind of a big job to get to it. And you'll know that it's start, starting to fail because your crank speed will be very, very slow and it will be hesitant to start. I'll insert a clip here. And as you can see, my starter motor kind of sounds like it's on its way out because my engine is very, very slow to start. And if you are experiencing a slow cranking speed, typically when cold, there is a good chance that your starter motor could be on the way out. The next item that will fail some point after 100,000 miles or so is the valve cover gasket now it is located underneath this plastic cover yes this is just a plastic cover on this particular engine the valve cover is magnesium on the later n52 engines they changed it to a plastic valve cover which is actually a better design but it is actually common for the uh, valve cover gaskets to leak on both the way you know if the valve cover gasket is leaking you may have some engine oil down at the front of the engine or you may have some oil down here at the side and it may leak on to the exhaust itself leading to some bad smells in the cabin. Now another part to fail after 100,000 miles or so is the crankcase ventilation system which again is linked to the intake manifold. You have to remove the intake manifold to access it. Now what the crankcase ventilation system does it takes the hot crankcase vapors away from the engine and puts them back through the intake manifold to be burnt off again as opposed to just letting them out into the atmosphere which is obviously good for the environment but not so good when the crankcase ventilation system gets blocked up which is often the case after 100,000 miles. Now because it is a fairly big job because you have to take the intake manifold out I would probably pair that with another job like replacing the starter motor or replacing the disavalves. Now another part to fail is no secret, it is the spark plugs themselves. They should be replaced every 30,000 miles. You should not wait until you get a misfire to replace them. And if you do get a misfire, just replace all of them. Don't go ahead and replace just one spark plug because all that's 
gonna happen then is the next spark plug is gonna fail and then the next spark plug is gonna fail. Just go ahead and replace all of them. Spark plugs are very, very cheap. They're very, very easy to swap out. So do not skimp on them. Go ahead and get some NGK or some Bosch spark plugs, obviously just make sure they are the correct specification for this engine. Now, after 100,000 miles, I would also recommend swapping out the existing coil packs as well, because there is a good chance if there's no history of them being replaced, they are more than likely the originals from factory. But again, make sure you get a good quality coil pack. Do not put the cheap Chinese ones in because you will experience more problems. Now then, the last and final part that is prone to fail after 100,000 miles or so, and it's actually something that is often overlooked, it is the drive belt, which of course is located at the front of the engine. It runs off the crankshaft pulley and it drives things like the AC compressor, the hydraulic power steering pump, and the alternator. Now, it can lead to premature failure of the belt. It can snap if you get something like oil on it. That is where the oil filter housing that, that can leak onto the, onto the belt and cause it to fail prematurely. But if it hasn't been replaced and your engine has ticked over 100,000 miles or so, I would go ahead and replace that. That's one of the jobs that I need to get done. I will be replacing it with a full drive belt kit. So you have the belt itself, you have the automatic tensioner, and usually a idler pulley. Now, when it comes to brands, I would recommend either BMW OEM or something like a Gates drive belt kit, which are generally pretty good. I generally use a Gates drive belt kit. And yeah, they generally do the job quite well. Okay then, so that is the 10 parts that will or will likely fail on the BMW N52 engine. If of course you have anything else to add, leave it down below in the comment section. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you have learned something today. Please give this video a like, leave a comment down below, like I said. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, because I've got so many more videos to come on this thing, and I'll see you all in that next one. Peace.